welcome back to Jana here. Uh, I know that summer is just went away but how about starting the winter with some vitamin D boost and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make a very hearty, very um, special and very easy uh, Hungarian mushroom soup. It's that easy, simple ingredients made in under 30 minutes so what's not to like. What I have here it's like uh, white onions or yellow onions chopped and white but mushrooms. Use cremini, you can use portobello, any kind of mushroom will do. I think that shiitake could be too much, so try to uh, stay away from shiitake, but cremini, portobello and uh, button mushrooms, they're perfect for that. So let's get started. In a pan, in a, a deep pan, you add some butter, wait until it melts and when it melts you add the onions. And then you let it cook for about three, four minutes, not so much. I don't want color here, I want just a little bit of uh, caramelization, but uh, nothing brown. Otherwise it will disrupt with the color at the end. All right, this is the color we're looking for. And now we add the mushrooms. Stir it a little bit. Now we need to add salt to the mushrooms because I want them to wilt. I want them to release all the water because if they don't, they won't um, cook properly and they will be a little bit tasteless. We're not looking for a Maillard reaction. It's going to be described right there what a Maillard is. We spoke about that. But we want, to, we want the mushrooms to release the water. Now I'm not going to lie to you, it's going to take some time depending on how wide your pan is because if you crowd them, if you crowd them, it's going to take longer for them to cook but I think that it should be like 6-7 minutes Okay, mine are ready and now we're going to add flour because we want the soup to thicken a little bit. Mix it through. Medium low heat. Have you noticed that I used butter instead of uh, olive oil or vegetable oil? And the reason is because I was not going to cook for a long time with the butter so the butter didn't have any chance to burn. Some lemon juice. Some dill. If you have fresh dill, better. But um, I think that the the dry dill it gives a, a little bit more um, of an intense flavor as opposed to the fresh one, which is a little bit more anisey. So um, that's up to you. A little bit of fresh thyme, and we give it a stir. I love the way mushrooms behave, it depends the way you cook them, they transform into a completely different kind of food, it's so versatile, isn't it? I love them. Now the star of this dish, paprika. Now, some people would like to add, uh, of course, for obvious reasons, uh, Hungarian paprika, but I think that the Spanish paprika, it's not only um, a little bit more smoked, but it's also a little bit more deep as opposed to the Hungarian one, which is, um, it, it, it has a zingy taste, if you know what I mean. It's slightly bitter, but I think that that's the one you guys find in America. It won't change much, it's just my preference. The color is amazing. If you would like to add uh, uh, garlic, you add, um, after you add the onions, you can, you can add some garlic. I will add uh, some um, garlic powder because I like it better sometimes and it's safe to use garlic powder because you know that it's not gonna get bitter if it burns a little bit or raw if it's not cooked enough so sometimes safety is good. So now the water.
Now it's up to you. If you want to add um, vegetable broth or water, I am going to add a cube of bouillon. <gasps> oh my God, vegetable bouillon. Yeah, well, this is reality. Not always we have time or we can find the proper uh, vegetable broth, so it's not going to harm anybody. Do it. Fine. Now we let it cook for about 15, 10, 15 minutes in a medium, medium, low heat. And I will be back to show you. All right. Our soup, our cream of mushrooms, Hungarian mushroom soup is ready. And now two more things. I have uh, uh, browned uh, a little bit of the prettiest of the mushrooms that I've had here. I have browned them in a little bit of butter for uh, some decoration on top. So I have this reserved right here. So we're going to add it uh, on top of the soup. When we serve it, it looks really pretty. And last but not least, I finally got that right. We are going to add a little bit of um, a vegan... Um, oh my God, what's the name? I forgot. It's a cashew cream, but I made a sour cream. So of sort, because I added a little bit of lemon and a little bit of um, acid to break a little bit of, the, of the, that taste that the cashew has, like base taste. I'm going to plate it and uh, don't worry if there are some white bits it's going to melt it's because my cashew cream uh, it, my uh, sour cream is it's very concentrated and very hard and it was in the fridge but it will break don't worry anyway I will post down below the recipe for the vegan cashew cream <laughs> for the vegan uh, sour cream it's going to be on the description box below all right so now I'm going to plate this I'll be right back Now I'm just going to serve it. This um, clay pot that I bought at this uh, Korean shop. But it's very nice because it distributes the heat once it's cooking and it keeps it warm for longer. It's very, very amazing. Good. And now we are going to add those mushrooms. It looks really nice. Sometime. And this is it. Super easy, wasn't it? Didn't it worth it? It can be made in under 30 minutes, 40 perhaps, depending on how much your mushrooms will uh, wilt. And this is it. Super easy. And I'm going to try, of course. Where's my spoon? Here. Come here. I love it. I love it. I love it. You should make it. It's so worth it. And this is it for today. I hope you have liked this video. Pay attention. Next week, I'm going to release the Christmas special. It's going to be a series of uh, three or four videos all about Christmas. And the, the next one is very, very exciting. I can't wait. It's a surprise. And uh, stay tuned. And don't forget to follow me on social media. And uh, subscribe, please. If you haven't done so, hit the bell button so you get notified next time I uh, post a video. And I see you next time. Have a great week. Bye-bye.